Michael and Eddie are attending a chemistry practical class in the lab. They are each holding a beaker containing a colorless solution. Both the solutions are unlabeled. How are we going to differentiate between the acid and the water since both are colorless? asks Michael. That's okay, Michael. The unique properties of water will help us differentiate it from the acid, explains Eddie. Check the boiling point and freezing point of both solutions. Water has a boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius and a freezing point of 0 degrees Celsius, says Eddie. Eddie explains, water is tasteless and odorless, but make sure you don't taste acid because it can burn your throat. Do you know that the unique properties of water also can be found outside the lab? Eddie asks. One example is that insects such as water striders can stay afloat on water due to the high surface tension of water. Another example is the transport of water from the root to the leaves of plants, which involves the capillary action of the water. Michael looks surprised and asks, The transport of water in plants? How does it occur? Eddie explains, In plants, water is drawn up from the roots to the leaves due to capillary action. Capillary action occurs due to cohesive forces between water molecules and adhesive forces between cell walls of plant cells and water molecules interacting between the water and the walls of the capillaries. Eddie continues to explain. Besides, the density of water is 1 gram centimeters negative 3, and most acids have a higher density than water. Ice has a smaller density than water, so ice floats on water. Michael says, Oops! This reminds me about the three physical states of water. Water can change its state from solid to liquid and liquid to gas by heat absorption. Or it can change from gas to liquid and liquid to solid by releasing heat. You're spot on, Michael, exclaims Eddie.